Hey guys. If you've been following the channel, you know I've been playing a lot of Persona 5... No, not this one. Persona 5 Royal. And I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. I've been streaming it most nights of the week. We about to take this big son of a bitch to the restaurant. Let's get him. This is going to be so funny watching him show up in the doorway. Watch. When he opens the door, he's not even going to fit. Ah! <laughs> it's too big to fit in the doorway. Oh my god. Why is he so large? Bro, that was epic. And I got so caught up in it that I'm too far in to quit now. So that's why videos have been kind of dry. But since my last video, a lot's happened. I've been playing a lot of Persona and I love it. New waifu, Makoto, great, wonderful lady. Also, Morgana may be one of the best characters in Persona, just saying. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm a big Taiko no Tatsujin fan. It's this game where you get this little drum and you beat on it, you smack the sides. It's actually based off an arcade game in Japan. And I thought that that was so inadequate that I decided to get an arcade level drum, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. But let's cut the crap because you guys are here for one thing and one thing only, Japanese goods. So with that in mind, allow me to move some things. Because this month we have what is the biggest order I've ever gotten from AmiAmi. The only way to do it is to just pick it up. It's huge and it's heavy. Look at the size of this. This is just obnoxious. I guess I should also provide you some context because this is not just one order. What had happened was all of February had went by and I didn't get any invoice for that order. At the end of the month, I finally email AmiAmi. It's actually the beginning of the next month. So it's now February like 5th and I message them like, hey, where's my order? You guys never invoiced me. Can you just combine it at this point? Because this is taking a really long time. And I was already expecting them to invoice me for February. And sure enough, right after that, they decided to invoice me for this order. Well, for the half of it. Which I was like, no, that's ridiculous. This is gonna ship a week away from another order shipping, so just combine it. But they weren't going to get back to me in time because it's taking AmiAmi like over a week to get back to a simple message. So I paid for the order to ship via EMS, knowing that it wouldn't ship. They got to my request and said, we would have to refund you to do that. And I said, well then do it, fool. So sure enough, they combined the two orders and then later invoiced me for this. What was really screwy though, was that I added a figure to this order knowing that it was going to be shipping soon. And they locked the order and then said, you can't change the order and you have one day to pay this order. And I'll remind you, the price of this was incredibly high. So in a day's notice, they wanted me to pay the full balance without any forewarning. Luckily, I was able to do that. And here we are. All of this is January and February's orders. So yeah, some of this is gonna be old for some of you guys, but that's not going to prevent me from opening it. So let's get into it. How have you guys been? Doing all right? Have you been watching the Persona streams? Are you donating to the Gamer Girl Chair Fund? As you may not know, I'm actually trying to get a new Gamer Girl Chair because my chair squeaks a lot and I want a gaming chair. So I started a fundraiser for it so you can donate if you like. The crazy part is I, sort of forget some of what's in here. So I'm going to be somewhat surprised going through this crap. Let me put my glasses on for this. Roll up those sleeves, boys. Oh, it was right on top, just where we like it. This is Amiko's birthday. She's the magical mascot girl. I only got the one for this month, I would assume, which is a shame because I've actually come to like these quite a bit and I have a bunch of them saved in a drawer somewhere. So even still though, it's kind of tradition to go. Oh. Damn, that was a good one. Ooh, I'm excited. There's gonna be so much crap in here and I already know one or two things that are gonna make all of you guys real excited because <laughs> there's some good stuff, baby. Oh, and I already see it. I gotta be honest, this is epic. What is that? Oh, ooh. Wait a minute, 
way to cotton pick in a minute. Something is missing. Oh, damn! <laughs> There's more! Ow. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get at it. Oh, where to even begin? Well, let's begin with something stupid. These are modeling supply plum glasses. Very simple stuff here. It's just a bunch of clear glasses that you can punch out of this. And they're all different sizes. So they'll fit on Nandoroids, Figmas. These actually don't look like they'll fit on Nandoroids. They look like they may just fit on Figmas, but still they are cute. Cool. I think they were like $5. So I said, what the hell? This is exciting. Oh, I am so hyped right now. Okay, so one of the first things I'm gonna show you guys is a model kit. And this one is really interesting because I've seen these Mechatro robots before, but never have I been so compelled to buy one as I was this time. And I thought that I had completely missed out on this, but it would seem that I did not. In collaboration with the legendary mangaka Keiichi Arai, as well as Neon Genesis Evangelion, this is a Mechatro robot that features the design of Ava Unit Zero and even comes with a tiny Rei Ayanami. And she is styled in the way of Keiichi Arai's drawing style, which is super cute. This thing is awesome and it was pretty limited and I'm really happy that I got it because it looks to be a pretty adorable kit. I really love the theming of Ava Zero on this robot. And I had actually debated getting one of these before, but now we got this one and Asuka will be coming later as well. Maybe we'll get Shinji. Maybe we'll get Mari. Who knows? Maybe it'll stop after the two girls that people fight over the most. We'll see. There you go, just add that to the pile of kits I'll never build. All right, so though that was pretty hype. Let's go with something that's also hype, but maybe not as hype. We got a new Polynesian. And for some reason, I got two of this one when I probably shouldn't have. Maguana, which is of course the color variant of Marilyn. This is the orange submarine girl. Really cool. I really do like this color scheme. And hopefully they fixed any problems they had previously with Marilyn. Have you ever seen a girl like this before? And then my camera took a while to focus. Do you like this? Is this interesting? Does anybody like these anymore? This is heavy as hell, so I'm assuming she's just as annoying as the original. Moving on, because man oh man, is there still so much more to unpack here. Let's go with a Figma, because we have quite a few. Figma, number SP-130. Oh my god, I love this box! We got Hatsune Miku. Racing 2020 version or Racing Miku 2020 version. Either way, this is so cute. She looks like Lucio from Overwatch. She has like a, a gun. She has an umbrella. Don't look at me, look at her. She has an umbrella. She's got a little panty shot right there looking super cute. Kawaii desu. The top is adorbs and the back is even more. Look at this. Look how precious. I really like the presentation. Just a nice shot of the actual figure right here on the front. This is really tasteful. I really like this. You know, window displays are great and all, but I don't know, something about this is really cool because it really showcases what, because who's going into a store and they're gonna find this and buy it right there? You, no, you're gonna pre-order these things. And it's like, when we get them, make the boxes even prettier. I love this. Thank you so much, Good Smile Company. Why am I thanking them? I paid them. They should be thanking me. How about we look at another good small figure in a pop-up parade of which I thought I wasn't gonna get. Your boy, my boy, Hie from Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, this is really hard to see through the case, but I assure you, this is dope and I really like it. And this is my first pop-up parade figure. Uh, the box is really plain. I don't know how I feel about the box, but They've already announced Kurama, so we're praying Kuwabara is next, and then of course, Yurameshi, and we'll have them all, and it'll be a way for me to get figures of these guys without spending ridiculous amounts, and actually getting great sculpting and paintwork because it's from our good friends at Good Smile Co. Thank you so much, Pop-Up Parade. Have a great night. But you're like, what is that? That's bullcrap. Who cares about all that, right? Well, 
I called your mama and she cared. No, just kidding. Check it out. The next piece I'm gonna show you is a model kit. So uh, I wanna hear my model kit boys rising up. Model kit boys, sound off. You know who you are. This model kit is a Pliobot plastic model kit X Riobot. I don't know what a Riobot is, but this is none other than La Zengan from Tengen Topa Guren Lagan. And this is extra dope, I assure you, because not only does it come with a cool kit of Lazengan, it also comes with a miniature Lord Genome, which is so dope. And if you look at the scale, look at how tall he is compared to Lazengan. This is badass. I have a Rebel Tech of Lazengan, but it's not the best. And this looks super cool. And I'm hoping that there's like really no painting necessary because if this was done right, this could be awesome. I, I'm really looking forward to this because I've seen a couple kits from this company that I'm excited about. So really praying here that this one doesn't suck. And you're just like, damn dude, what didn't you buy? Well, I didn't buy a uh, Ghost in the Shell figure, but actually that's a lie because the next figure is gonna be the man, the myth, the legend, Cyber Eyes Bato from Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. This one's pretty cool. I do love me some Bato, so finally getting a Figma of him is a welcome treat. I've wanted one of these for a long time, and I didn't think that Standalone Complex would really ever get any more love from something like Figma, but here we are. He comes with some pretty gnarly faces. Looking at the box, uh, it don't look that great. Hopefully, out of the box, it'll look better, right? Because if not, oof. Man, I got a lot of Figmas. Reviewing this is never gonna happen, but what I will review, which is something that I should have gotten a while ago, and I should have got two of, but for some reason I canceled last minute. Polly, Neon, Ivy. This is the color variant of Alvin. And if you watched my tier list, you'll know that I am rather fond of Alvin. Alvin's one of my favorite designs. How do you not love a robot and a thong? Robo thong? Robo thong. It has two different modes. Of course, the uh, female and male versions are present here. And it's actually showcasing the female more prominently versus Alvin more prominently showing the male version. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Ooh, what do you guys want to see reviewed first? Why don't you comment below? Let me know. Do you get any of this stuff too? Because I'm starting to feel like a real fool for buying all this crap. But it doesn't stop there because the world starts coming and it don't stop coming. And as speaking of coming. <laughs> Listen, I've been less proud about purchases before. And I've got no qualms with what I've done here. I'm a man, okay? There's a, there's a brain in here that rattles around in my skull. And every so often when I see the right shapes, I go, ooh. And if uh, there's more of the right shapes, I go, ooh, ah! And if those shapes are nice and voluptuous and, ooh, boy, I'll be like, ooh, ah! And you know, that's just why you gotta make sure you eat healthy, boys. This is a honker of a box, and honkers indeed she has, because this is Tomato Chan. Tomato Chan. Tomato Chan. Need I say it again? Tomato Chan. This was based off of a illustration, an illustration rather. And honestly, I forget the artist's name. Ah, Pani Pani, is that the name? Pani Pani? I think it's Pani Pani is the name of the artist. Go look him up, look up Tomato Chan on Twitter. This girl's thick, she's got, you know what I'm saying? Some nice big tomatoes, you know what I mean? She's got to catch up on deck. And uh, hey, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind putting her on a sandwich if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's, let's eat. I'll say it, I've got no qualms with the man that I am. There are things that I've done that I'm not proud of, and that wasn't one of them. But what I am proud of is that I finally got a new Figma Pit and Pit 2, otherwise known as Pit and Dark Pit. Of course, the shine will not allow you to see these boys too well, but I assure you... Oh! Oh no, we dented the box! What was I saying? I assure you, they're two great Figmas. They're actually some of my favorite Figmas, and I had them from their original run, but I sold them a long time ago when I was trying to save up money for something. And uh, yeah, I always regretted it because they're awesome. But I did get a great price for them when I sold them back in the day. But now, for some reason, they randomly announced that they were redoing them, and uh, you better believe I got them. So, Pit and Pit 2, very exciting indeed. I wonder if they still come with those goofy AR cards. <laughs> Looks like I made out in the end. Speaking of make out, let's 
check out a great Nendoroid because everybody loves a Nendoroid, right? The presentation here is wonderful. I'm very excited about this indeed. It's our boy, none other than the booty king himself, Shinosuke Nohara, otherwise known as Shinchan. Wonderful, wonderful anime, hilarious comedy, super awesome character. I love Shinchan so much. I'm so excited to finally get this because I was afraid I wasn't going to because it was sold out and I didn't pre-order it like an idiot, but I found them last minute on AmiAmi. They weren't in stock one day, but then the next day they were. So I gobbled it up because I, I need to have this. I'm so excited for How excited are you guys right now about this? His eyebrows are removable. That's pretty sick. And we're getting down to the end here, guys. Uh, just two more things to show you, and then we're done. First thing I'm gonna show you is, you ever hear of Nipako? Nipako's really cute. She is basically, uh, hold on. This is me. She's the embodiment of these blue handled nippers that you would use on your model kits. A really strange thing to turn into a cute character, but they indeed did, and, <laughs> This here is a gun that is themed after Nipako. As you can see, this is her on the box. And she's holding the gun in question, and that's actually inside here. That's literally all this is, is an accessory pack that comes with this really cool little gun. And I thought this was hilarious, so I had to get it. But the main reason I found it so hilarious that I had to get it was because I got the Nipako Figma. Oh, that's right, baby. We got Nipako as a Figma, Figma number SP096. This is a special one, boys, that's why it's SP. Very cute, very adorable. Again, it's just a cute girl who looks like a pair of nippers and her handles are the actual pigtails that she has. She comes with a pair of them. And then the little tiny bow on top of her head looks kind of like the blade. This is so precious and I cannot wait to get this open. She looks so tiny in there but so cute, so precious. Oh my. And then finally, I saved what I think is one of the best for last. This is gonna be a long ass video. The final item here in the package was covered in bubble wrap. So we'll take that off. And <laughs> I'm really excited about this, even though the box is very dirty. Ew, what the hell? It's a bunch of dirt on my box. From the GEM series, I got none other than Snorlax. Kabigon with Jigglypuff or Pudding in the background, very angry, and Ash and Pikachu sleeping atop his belly. This is the cutest thing. I love this. How could you not? I know that uh, my boy Ando really craps on the Pokemon Mega House figures, but I've got no reason to hate on this. Snorlax is one of my very favorite Pokemon. As soon as I saw this, I said, I gots to get it. This is huge, actually. It's really big. I'm very satisfied with that. I was afraid it would be kind of small. It's not, and I could be no happier. Right now, from the packaging, I, I just, what I see here looks spectacular. <gasps> oh, never mind. There's something there that I don't like, and uh, maybe we'll have to email them about it, but, uh, Hopefully that's not on the actual figure, but with that, that's gonna be our last figure. I guess, should I try to pile everything up? Let's try to do that. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm also an idiot, so. Oh man, if something falls, that is gonna be upset. Oh yeah, girl. That is gonna be so sad. If he drops his figures, that's not too bad. We're doing all right so far, but everything's not really in the shot. You can't see. This is getting dangerous. This, that, it's, you can't tell that it's all there. Why am I doing this? <laughs> it's for the video. It's for you guys. Ta-da! And that is our order that came all together. This is a monument to your sins. This is my pre-orders from January and February. Damn it, that one's backwards. Can we take him out? Should I try? <laughs> it's like Jenga, but way more expensive. Oh, we got her, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, we did it. We fixed it. Now it's perfect. What did you think about this video? Am I crazy to have purchased all of these figures 
When you really consider it, it was two different months, so let's not get too upset here, guys. Come on, I am an addict when it comes to collecting, so it is what it is. Have you been watching the Persona streams? Do you like them? Do you want to suggest something? What should I review first? Comment below and let me know. Like the video if you did indeed find it hilarious. It probably wasn't, but if you found it entertaining, make sure to like it too. Subscribe if you have not. I do these every time I get more figures, and I don't think I'll be stopping collecting anytime soon, but maybe tapering back my expectations would be a good idea. Still, with that in mind, thank you so much. King Gudum, I love you, and have an amazing day, and most certainly, keep on collecting. Peace! That's not a funny enough outro. Should I just... Ugh, just... Ugh. No, I won't do that. I am the, me the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Metal Gear King. Uh. Cut the video off.